Hi, my name is Michelle Nelson. I'm the Operations Manager here at Service Star Realty, and today we're going to talk about partial rent payment plans. First thing to consider is having a good tenant. A rental history is important. Um, do they adhere to their lease agreement? Even with the best tenant in place, sometimes they just fall behind on their bills. The best thing to do is have good communication between you and your tenant. If your tenant knows that they can call you for anything, they will be more likely to call you and let you know that they're not going to be able to come up with their rent. In this situation, be calm, let them know it's okay, be responsive, and then work out a plan. The first thing you do not want to do is take a partial payment because then you cannot evict them that same month. The first thing you want to do is create a payment plan that the tenant agrees to. They're going to come up with the first payment, which is going to be at least half of what is owed, and then they're going to tell you when the next payment is due. Make sure that the next payment is due in the same month that the rent is due and not, and not going into the next month. If they agree to it, they bring you the payment, and then you have a copy of it, and then when they bring in the second payment, everything's right with the world, and they start all over again the next month. If they don't come up with the second payment, then we can go into eviction, and you don't lose a month of being able to evict your tenant. It helps you because you still get partial payment. It helps your tenant because it allows them to, to spread out their payments and still get caught up. If you have any concerns, we have a payment plan that you can ask us about. Please call us at Service Star Realty, and we'd be happy to help.